And we're back, everybody. Uh, that may have been one of the most interesting beginnings of an interview. We've Is ever. that right? We've oh, I, I thought, you know, everybody had those type of interruptions. Yeah, you yeah. know. It, I hope everybody enjoyed the chips. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome so back. Uh, thank you. Yeah, um, thank you. And we got wine. And we got, well, that's just like a magic set. It just pops up, yeah. right? Hmm. And uh, we were talking about you going to college. Yeah, that's right. And uh, being a part of the art club, or the, the president, president, the actually, president yeah. um, and the projects that you guys were working yeah, on. Yeah, it was just great working with other artists and everything. Um, what did you mostly get out of your experience in like going to school for art? Well, I think I just did it just for the enjoyment of it. I hated art history. I mean, it's tough. Yeah. And then, Names and uh, dates are difficult. Yeah, it is. And it just was boring. I mean, I did like a course that I took on Baroque and Rococo era, but the general, you know, overview. But that stuff just kind of like resonates through now being an artist. It just resonates and you know certain things that you probably would have known if you didn't study yeah. you could you could self read but i guess you could do that with pretty much anything mm -hmm. yeah and art is definitely something that doesn't really matter if you have a degree or not or went to this art school or not it just all depends on how you want to pursue your career so certain opportunities will be closed to you if you don't have a from this academy or that it's true. academy. It's true. And that's a true story. But other than that, it's like, you, you can definitely do art, you don't have to go to school, you know? So there's different options for, for people and artists. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, what did you do after college? Well, um, after college, I was, I was uh, you know, trying to figure out ways to sell art. I couldn't um, really have, you know, coffee shops, whatever. It's not enough to make a living off of and sell one here or there, but it, it's not very often. And galleries, they want a resume, I don't know. It's like all a bunch of craziness. So I went into my second major, which was computer science. And um, I went into um, being a systems analyst and network engineer. I was really good at it. Um, work for Intuit. Um, some of my other uh, clients that I had that I was the administrator on was, uh, you know, Procter and Gamble. And so when Pampers.com went down, this is true. I was the end guy to make sure the server was up and Pampers.com was up. And yeah. I was the guy they would call at two in the morning to make sure that. You know, hey, Pepper's all calms down. You got <laughs> set. Yeah. So, um, good career. I was making some good money, um, real close to the six figures uh, with that. And but uh, one day in my cubicle, I'm looking online. And I'm just going to segue into this, but I was just looking online, and, and every once in a while I pop in, and I, I I popped into the self-representing artist on eBay. Hmm. And then I saw somebody with like a similar style to mine who's actually selling, selling really well. And I was going like, wow, you could actually make a living out of it. And um, so I was really excited. I'd just recently been to Monterey, California and I'd taken some pictures of canoes. And so I did, uh, I did a painting, small little painting and put it on eBay on auction. And I think it sold for like $35. From some guy in Rhode Island, first I didn't even put the listing up very well or anything, and it was like, wow, you know, I never had that quick a response. Mm -hmm. And um, even though I think I lost money on the deal because I didn't know what to charge for shipping, I didn't know how to ship. And I went to the UPS store, and that was a total ripoff. Right. You know, they had a lot of bubbles and everything else that they charged me for, but. Um, so I, I did that for a while. I did it for a year and a half, just part-time. And I thought, you know, I'd be good. 
and uh, but that's how I started. And, and then it, it segued into being laid off and going to interviews and doing art and um, did a couple of consulting jobs. But I kept on having more more time I spent on making paintings and and listing them, the more money I was making doing that. Mm -hmm. And so I just kept going here. And pretty soon I just said, well shoot, I'm making a living of what I like, I'll just do it. Right. Yeah. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And how long ago was that? That was uh, 2005 when I, uh, so the first one I sold was 2004. By 2005 I was doing it full time. Ah. Yeah. So. I haven't looked back. That's phenomenal. Yeah. And it's been a, it's been a roller coaster. There's good times, there's bad times. Mm -hmm. You have to work through things. eBay is not my primary venue anymore, but mm -hmm. you always have to look for, you know, what works and suits for you. So, yeah. How do you, uh, people get a hold of you? Well, Google Benwell, B E N W I L L, and you'll find me. Um, my studio, this is 4533 Southeast 67th Avenue, Portland, Oregon, 97206. That's another way. My information is on my site, benwill.com. My email is bad at benwill.com. So I guess, yeah, you can find me. I'm <laughs> on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, you know, Twitter. Right on. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. What a. Do you, do you do commissions for people or do you prefer to just... Do I do, but I don't do whatever... I'm very selective on what commissions I'll do. I'll do a commission because somebody, you know, likes this painting or this painting, but they want it larger. Actually, a painting similar to that, I want uh, somebody wanted a huge painting. And um, that was actually the CEO of uh, J.P. Morgan. Hmm. And... Um, that was interesting little thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, so I do commissions. I'll do it based off of my own work. Um, or, um, sometimes I like people to throw their ideas at me. If they, I'm going to do it in my style. I'm not going to do it in somebody else's style. That's just ridiculous. I can, I can, I can paint realism. I can surrealism, you know, every ism out there. Um, I could probably do, but that's not who I am and it wouldn't be as good as somebody else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So why do that? You know? Mm -hmm. So I, I mean, you could go to somebody and pay probably less because it's going to take them less time Yeah, and it'll be a better price. Well, I had one, I had like in <clears throat> Bridezilla <clears throat> and she just like contacted me and she's all like, I want you to do a painting for me. I just, you know. And I'm all like, okay, so what you like? And and then she started describing like a portrait with her blah, blah, blah. And I'm all like, it doesn't really sound like something I could do. And then she later uh, comes back and said, I really want you to do this. So, you know, and she had all these particulars. And I'm like, I definitely don't do this. And then she writes me back. I'm <laughs> serious. And then she writes me back and then she goes... Um, I want you to do it like this artist. <laughs> and so I went to the website, you, you know, and it was, it was ridiculous. It was like totally not my style. It was different. And it's like, and then I, I just didn't even answer her. I just like, you got to be serious. This is ridiculous. She pinged me even a couple more times after that. I just, I would have just Bridezilla, man. It's like, copy, and you don't want to do it. You just copy paste that artist contact information back to her. Like, this is the artist. <laughs> you're looking the artist you're looking for is the same one. You know, you send me to his website. It's like, then ask him, you know? And I know she just was not going to be happy anyways. It's yeah. like, you know. Um, so do you show anywhere besides your gallery here? Well, um, not a lot, but i um, trying to get out there a little more. Um, I don't really... Okay, so um, I, I don't really submit for art shows um, usually that are, you know, have a cover fee up front. Um, 
you know, to submit. This gallery won't do that. I will not accept artist money for the submission process. Why? Because you're just making money off the artist when you do that and you, you haven't given any value. So um, I think gallery should, this is my own opinion, but I'm entitled to and it, I think that galleries should sell the artist's works before they receive money. And I think that's a fair deal, and that's how I operate here. Um, and I don't, funny. and I, I normally do not, I did submit to um, Portland uh, Open Studios for October. There was an application fee, and there is a, a fee for um, being on the map and you know being selected so um, I, I will be doing that um, just also because I think in October I do the big 10 inch uh, show here mm -hmm. um, and that um, is going to represent a lot of artists and by me being on the map with that it's going to bring a lot of customers so I'm going to have a lot of a lot of sales hopefully during October for that Fantastic. Yeah. So I thought it was worth to do. Um, and I almost didn't make it on the <laughs> on the uh, on the jury part of it. Yeah. You know, but that's the way juries are. It's like you don't. You know, I've, I've been juried out of things. Felt really bad. You just feel like really bad. And, and then you go to the show. You go to the event, and you look at the art, and you go, really. So, you know, it's like, I think it's just all has to do with taste. It just has to do with something. All taste. Is. And I don't care if you've been doing art for one day or if you've been doing art for 10, 20, 30, 40 years. Yeah. There's going to be a certain type of crowd that is drawn to your work. There will be a certain type of crowd that is just wants nothing to do with it. Right, and right. If, if you take offense to the to the one, no, I, I appreciate like I do with music. I appreciate a lot of different flavors, and um, but I do have a certain palette that that draws me. Mm -hmm. um, I got Frank Frank uh, Salcedo's uh, work up here. I don't know if you've interviewed him, but he's yeah. a great one for you. Um, you know, and he's got a similar palette, but he's obviously more cute. Cubism and and Navajo is kind of a mix of that, mm -hmm. and, um, so I am drawn to certain things, but um, I also like graffiti art and hmm. uh, quite a bit. Um, I like to sometimes go down to the, like the Burnside Bridge under there, and where they have a skate park, and and see all the graffiti there, or just other places. Um, a lot different than tagging. I'm not really crazy about the tagging part, but um, graffiti. To be beautiful, um, and there's a lot of it here. Uh, yeah, probably well represented in Portland. Yeah. Um, what are some of your goals, aspirations? Where do you want to see yourself go? <coughs> see myself where? Go. Where do you want to see yourself go? Oh, I don't know. Your art. Do you have? I'm actually. As long as I can just keep living my lifestyle, um, interconnect with everybody, other artists, um, and create this kind of, of environment, um, I'm happy. So I don't really know I have to go anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, maybe other than where I'm at, with you know a little more stability and and um, get some more things going. I just uh, you know keep as long as you know. But I get a paint, and I like that. Mm -hmm. And I paint every day. Um, you know, for me, being an artist is not the easiest occupation. It's just a joy that I have for doing it, and it's like it makes up for the amount of work I do. Art, I've never seen anybody then really works harder than, and I've been a lot of films than artists. They put in a lot of long hours. Um, they have to do a lot of things, a lot of jumping through hoops for this and that. Mm -hmm. and, it's a hard, very hard working career. Well, being a salesperson is a difficult career, but this is creating something and then finding that audience and then being the salesperson to you that You have audience. to sell your own 
product, um, which is art. You and have that, to promote yourself. You if know, artists, uh, you know, like I said, if you went down the gallery resume route, you have to you have to build this resume. They don't even look at you until you've shown here, or shown there, or have something for a long time. It's hard to get in those shows, so it's like you know, grinding it through, trying to get your work out there any way you can. Coffee shops, a bunch of denials, blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. Even if you're a great artist, I mean, some artists are lucky to just get a patron or something. You know, oh, I discovered this guy. You know, but um, I'm not Bosquet. I don't think that's going to happen to me. Um, so, yeah. I, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I was going to say, and if perchance you sell a piece of art, all of that time in it, like you get, you get the paycheck, yeah. but then you need to go into working for, on the next piece of art and yeah. selling that piece well, of art. Well, you saw me, when I was out there just for the five minutes. Right. I went ahead and it did another layer. And, just and yeah, and the time it go, took you to pour me a glass of water, water and you will be over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'll be uh, I'll be working on um, finishing the the tree that I have over there too. So, Are you working with acrylics? Yeah, acrylics, and um, I do work with oils. And lately, I've been working with house paint. And, Interesting. Uh, yeah. Well, actually, Chris Haberman gave me a whole bunch of. Thank you, Chris. Uh, a whole bunch of house paint um, when he left the uh, air gallery. Hmm. So, and people's art in the Pioneer Place. So, and I've been really enjoying it. I recently got like, it was like a shopping cart full of house paint from mm -hmm. Kimberly Bookman. Mm. <laughs> no, uh, Milepost 5, she was cleaning out the. the yeah. And just moving so much. So if anybody has house paint, uh, yeah, Jacob and I will we'll figure out something. We'll wrestle over it, and uh, no, actually, I'll just give it to him if he wants to. We'll wrestle. split it. I don't want to get my. I'll give him. Paint. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, I'm just all look. I don't, yeah. Um. So the the last thing that I wanted to talk about is the gallery that I'm throwing. Yeah. Uh, the fourth F and Friday gallery. Yeah. Uh, June twenty fourth. Yeah. And am I in it? Yes, I am. Have I not told you this? No. I, okay, I'm sorry. I thought I might have uh, because I, Nick said you, I think you're going to be in. Yeah, so, yeah. So for <laughs> sure, I had the space. All right. Um, All right. I, I'm gonna give this guy a hug. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I'm I'm super pumped because I've been doing like space allocations. And so uh, I owe you twenty bucks. Twenty five. Twenty five. And that's not a demand, it's a request. All right, this is proof. Of course, he owns the video. Um, Thank you. Yeah, I. we were talking about this earlier. Like, I don't want to be making money off of the artists, but... Well, this is different. You have I, an event. You're not... You're not rejecting an artist for 25 bucks. Right. That's different. You're providing a space. I do that. I will, I will do that. That's fine. It's, it's just that I don't like... Um, you know, like if you were to say, if you give me 25 bucks, we'll, we'll jury it, we'll decide. Mm -hmm. And then if you're in, we're going to charge you another 25 <laughs> <laughs> And it's like, well, you can see really quick. Like the pancake and booze. Sorry, that's just... And I went there just for, you know... Can we cuss on this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah for shits and giggles, right? So I did it just for shits and giggles, and I wanted to see how they ran the event. But, I mean, the whole thing's a scam on the artists. They just... They pop up these these events. They have, like... I'm going to really get ostracized from some, no, because I don't really care about that. So, um, yeah, they just put up these walls. They give each artist a, a four by eight wall. I think you charge it like $50 and they just cram everybody in and they have these walls all over and it's just full of people and they make the artist have to pay to get into the venue itself. Hmm. Um, and then the free pancakes. Yeah, that's, you know, that was free so pancakes. Dope. But there's such a long line, they're making one pancake every five or ten minutes that it's like, it's just like this total ripoff. Yeah. And you don't see any, it's not about the art then. It's just like this this party, but the artists are there because they want to be seen, you know? Yeah, it's And it's that's what those events are for. It's, it's like an event. It's like just to create money off of the artist. 
that you can get it. Yeah. You just have to have money. Right. And you have the money, you can get, yeah, you can be a part of this big show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's all, all it takes. Yeah. But other venues are like, uh, you know, unless I really you know somebody or whatever, it's really hard to get in, you know, get jury through the process yeah. and you're, you're spending $25 you know, sometimes up to $50 or whatever for this. And if you, you look at it and you do it over, you know, an artist is probably working a side job or whatever just to make ends meet. And then he's taking all of his money trying to get accepted into these shows. And maybe he's lucky one out of 10 or one out of 25 is going to actually get in. Yeah. You know, and they make a lot of money off of that. I guess it's a waste of time for somebody to, look through, thumb through somebody's stuff real fast, but, um, I don't know. You didn't have to, you just like, eh, I don't like yours. Yeah, you're in, you know. The, Tomorrow, I'm in. All right. It's, it's, it's a, kind of a corrupt system, the art world, and that's kind of what I've try, been trying to combat, is the elitist. Dude, that's Sorry. totally what I'm about here. And I just, I have, I have fine art, great art. Come on in here. Come on in here. Hi. You want some juice? Okay. Um, should I trust you to pour it? You gonna be really careful? Okay, if you make a mess, I need you to grab a rag, all right? All right. Bye bye, Bertie. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to interview all the artists. Like, <laughs> if, if you consider yourself an artist in any way, I would love to interview you. And this, if you're watching this and you're seeing this, like, yeah, let, like, hit me up. Let's do an interview. <laughs> and that's right what I started this on, really. Um, it's about documentation and about art life in a, a very artistic place. Right. Um, and trying to bring these people together, so I'm curate the gallery at my home, generally. Right. Uh, and that's where the artists of all different levels, whether they've been doing it a, a couple of years, or 20 years, 30 years, like, right. I'll gather at my house, put art on the walls, and have a party. Now, you're, you're going to do a different venue this time, right? Yeah. This so one's, doing it at the no, house. So this doing one's at Refuge PDX. Um, right. Big event. I paid a lot of money for the event, which is the only reason I, I'm trying to make a little bit of that back. But you have to. Yeah. I, I run events here, and it's like you, yeah, you, you, you have to. I, I, I don't know if a lot of Portland artists know this, but I generally, on every event, I usually lose a little bit of money. Not, I'm not coming out ahead. So. Uh, I've booked 10 musical acts for this this uh, event. Yeah. There could possibly be an 11th one coming on. I would just, like, if they say yes, I would just have to squeeze everybody in. Like, Is it the one I'm thinking of? I don't think so. Okay. Um, then I won't say it. Uh, Nick said yes. Uh, so Southern, Nick's in it. Southern yeah, North Southern North. North. Okay, North. okay. Oh, yeah, like, for sure. Okay. Okay. They were. So I mentioned it to you. And they were the ten. They were the tenth <coughs> band and the tenth slot that I found. Nice. Uh, I'm still waiting on another group that said possibly, uh, right. and if they say yes, I would just have to like scrunch everybody by like right. seven minutes or something <laughs> in order to fit them in. Right. Um, but yeah, so it's gonna be jam packed with art. Artists, there's gonna be body painting and uh, music and. No, do I have to spend another twenty five dollars to get in the door? No, right. no. Um, even guests at the show, if you want to donate five dollars or more to the Art Life Video Blog in the event, yeah. thank you. There's no. There's no door fee until nine o'clock. That's usually how I run mine. It's like, uh, it, and people are like, you know, you charge or whatever. No, because I know some artists can't afford to come to the events. I want them to come, and it's like, it's that's why I make it donation. It's always donation. Yeah. Until you know, recommended donation is six dollars or whatever, and I'll do that. And you know, people they can afford it. I appreciate it if they do because it actually helps offset the the cost of running this 
basically a mm. community art event, you know. And I I think your show to do great. is suggested donation of five to ten dollars, but I'm not going to turn somebody away. Yeah, that's the way. Uh, I'm doing. But for every five, I just break their knee for every five and then <laughs> <laughs> for every five dollars that they, somebody donates, they get a raffle ticket. Right. And then any of the artists that are involved can donate a small piece of art into this raffle and then all day we're going to be giving away art. So oh, I have these like little old dailies or something. I mean, oh, you give you one? Please. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you want. Uh, but I, I expect to get a lot of art and do a lot of raffling that day. Awesome. Uh, I mean, there's going to be like 60 artists showing work. Yeah. Right? And if yeah, half I'll of throw them in. throw in a piece, then no, that's quite a bit of art. I just might ask for a return on the favor one day. But yeah. I mean, seriously. No worries, mate. It's good. My pleasure. Yeah. Um, I don't have anything else to talk about. Do you have any last comments, questions, or concerns? Yeah, well, do you well, want to come in? Do you, uh, do you know where the juice is, Jacob? I bet we could go find some juice. I bet we could find the juice. So I don't really have anything else. So we can. All right. Adore. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. On my video blog, day 160. Check this guy seven. out. Check out this video. Soon. <laughs>